Thomas Olsen. Anybody? He too came through those very arduous semifinal Woo! rounds representing Central Washington University. My man's rocking the gray hair. Does anybody uh, check his AARP card? <laughs> Not lately, but they definitely have checked out his skills because he's in the finals of the Jack in the Box College Wake Forest Nationals. Second of four runs. Each competitor gets two passes. Our judges are on the boat alongside our cameraman. Everybody's gotten the vibe. Get the judges' attention. Throw something big coming out of the gate. A big hoochie glide. Once again, I like that move. He throws the invert and then puts a late grab in it. Another grab right there. It's part of that Northwest style. These people integrate their snowboarding into their wakeboarding. A nice 540 degree presentation right there. A great rotation. Another solid grab and then a nice distinctive three. Interesting though, what is going on? Why ride out that last portion of the course? Yeah, it seems to be pretty consistent. They're, uh, maybe they're saving it. Maybe they're saving it. I want to push an extra trick in that pass to hold off and go, again, quality over quantity. Well, that is definitely quality right there. It's a staple heel side roll to revert, but he upped the ante with that solid method grab. Pass number two. One and a half, a nice 540. Like the composition of this run. We've seen inverts, we've seen big spins, and now it's a Tootsie Roll. An invert with a backside 180. He's all wrapped up again. What is he gonna throw? He tried to punch this one earlier. It was a KGB. This time he gets yeah. it done. Success is his. Scary, huh? This yeah. is Thomas Olson, Central Washington University. Oh. You know, coming down to the wire, just stuffs it in ostrich style. Oh, he was trying the scarecrow mode. Now let's revisit this. This is a wrapped KGB. It's an invert with a backside 360 rotation, smooth like butter. Now watch this. If you're doing it perfect, you land on the toe side edge. He just landed flat, and he tried to lean forward, but leaned too far forward. But look, he's got some real estate left, Uncle Lee. He's gonna get one more showcase move. Yeah, here's a little uh, throwdown showdown, or the showcase, as you call it. What will he have for us is still counts in the run. It's got to be a revisit of that Scarecrow move. Wow, he nailed that thing big. And you knew from the get-go the height that he got. He was going to be able to bring that thing around. Sick ride right there from Thomas Olsen. Love the fact that he got right back on that horse and did exactly yeah. what knocked him down. Here it yep. is. Look how big that was. Again, two, three feet bigger than his attempt before. He had time to correct in the air where his toe side positioning was. Look at that. He landed heel side. But again, he still had so much time in the air that he was able to correct. Great stuff. 